How's it going everyone? In this video, I wanna walk you through the exact trades I took today, give you my reasoning and how I manage that trade. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button and click that bell icon so you do not miss out any of my upcoming videos. Let's get right into this NVIDIA level. This is the same one I gave you all on my pre-market Instagram live. I go live every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time. If you're not joining us, be there. So I was looking for a 460 bounce on NVIDIA today, right at this trend line. I'll show you trend line on the uh, hourly. You can see it much better here. So the trend line, I said, okay, I said, I want to pull down to this area of confluence slash support slash trend line for a possible bounce. I called this trade out live inside Team Bull. We got in right here, I believe it was, and we called this nice move up. Unfortunately, I did not leave any runners. We come back down, I stopped out on my, what runners I did have that stopped me out at my entry price. But as you can see, it turned around and this did exactly what I wanted then some. Would have been a huge trade for me. Um, this is one of them times where people like, Grizzly, do you not get FOMO? I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this one uh, was testing me today, but we're gonna log this and just move on to the next trade, right? That's all we can do. The second trade I took today was on SPX. This was called out live inside Team Bull as well. This is a very nice trade. I typically trade SPY options, but I went with SPX options today and these exploded off this move. We went short right in this area here. I wanna see this come back up and retest this area you see here because we had this big red candle down. Very fast move, a lot of orders, we're left unfilled right here, okay? So it came back up, test this area, picked up the orders left behind before it continues on down. We got in here on live voice with puts. I went with the uh, four, five, seven, five puts, got in, and they absolutely exploded off this little move down you see here. Really impressed on how they move. That being said, one thing I've noticed trading SPX, if I go heavier, the premium fluctuates so much that it does cause me a little, uh, I guess anxiety or my nerves get into it. Uh, I definitely something I'm gonna have to adjust where I can trade SPY a heavy size and deal with it. I'm just, I guess it's just what I'm used to. I plan on trading SPX more. It does have better tax advantages. I'm gonna see how it works out. I'll keep you all updated. Also, I haven't forgot what I promised you all. I do plan on recording my trades live and posting on my YouTube for you. Hopefully start that this week. If not, the next, okay? Have any questions about this trade? or just any questions in general, you can reach out in the comments or go to my DMs on Instagram. All my socials can be found at grizzlytrades.com, okay? I only have one Instagram, I only have one YouTube, and I only have one Twitter. Do not fall for fake scammers. There's all kinds out there that's pretending to be me. I will never DM you first, ask for crypto. I will never trade for you. I will not follow you just because this is my business account, right? So if they're trying to you to click some kind of weird link in your DMs, do not do it. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about the fake scammer accounts. I've reported them and they don't do anything about them. Please do not fall for them. And that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions, again, always feel free to reach out to me. Appreciate you all for watching and I will see you next time.